I think the reason that Doctor Who is appealing all over the world is because of the characters and the stories that it tells. All of the characters are people that we can relate to and also we love going on a fantasy and a journey and we're, uh, we're able to touch things in Doctor Who that uh, are everyday life stories but putting them in a sci-fi uh, uh, world. Also, it's just great to go on a journey with the Doctor and the, and the TARDIS. Captain Jack was a role I never thought as a young boy when I watched Doctor Who uh, in Glasgow on the sofa on a Saturday evening um, that uh, I would ever be involved with. I never thought that I would ever be part of that, part of the TARDIS team. And then when I got the opportunity by Russell T Davies who gave, you know, rang me up, I went to the audition, I did the, the, the audition and Lo and behold, they called me 20 minutes after it and said, you're Captain Jack Harkness. So, Captain Jack changed my life. It was also a character who changed the face of television because we'd never seen anybody like him before who was unapologetic about who he was and who he loved. And it literally was groundbreaking. So, for me, Jack has opened not only... Jack's not only been, you know, life-changing, but Jack's opened up other doors for me so that's why at a drop of a hat if someone says to me we want you to come back and play Jack absolutely it's a no-brainer I think Jack is a fan favorite because he is unapologetic he uh, represents something that was not represented at that time on television which uh, you know we call Jack omnisexual but basically if you were to give him a label now I think Jack would be fluid all of us who fell in love with Jack in the first, you know, the first time are now introducing him to others because when people come up to me and say, Jack helped me be me, helped me be myself. So Jack has made a huge impact and I think that's why he's a fan favorite. I wanted to get involved with Time Fracture not only because I love storytelling, and I all love Captain Jack the character, but also it introduces Jack to the next generation of Doctor Who lovers. I, I have never been to an immersive theater production. I'm sure that if I did, people would let me have my own fantasy in it in my world because you're, you're all there for the same reason. And that's what I love about fandom. That's what I love about geekdom. That's what I love about being a geek myself is that we all respect each other and we're, it's a safe zone. So we can go in cosplay and dressed or an augmented cosplay to the immersive uh, theater. You know, if you're coming to this, Cosplay. Dress up as your favorite Whovian character, villain, hero. Dress up at, you know, I know there's going to be Jacks out there, and when you do, take pictures of yourself. Obviously, I want to do this. I want to come in my Jack outfit to this. I think it would be awesome. It's awesome. It's like a big, it's like a comic con, but with a storyline. I think this is going to work as an immersive theater show because you never know what to expect when you go when you watch Doctor Who so you're going in for the journey you finally get to be a companion uh, a hero the, the person who saves the day so that's why I think this works because in our stories when we read the scripts it is I mean what I do when I go to play Jack in Doctor Who or Torchwood, it's immersive theater. Mm -hmm. I'm creating the character to play for you to enjoy and it's exactly the same thing. Create your character, get in there and enjoy your journey. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.